Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Module 4, Lesson 20. Yes, we are on Lesson 20 now. And let's look at, again, the same thing, conversion of measurements. But this time, we're, gonna, we're going to convert large units to smaller units. What does that mean, Mr. Magno? Well, look, it means that this yard is larger than feet. Okay? All right. Now, let's do a review and let's look at what is one yard in feet. So is one yard equal three feet? Okay, now we can set up our multiplication. So our multiplication is going to be four and one third yard. And we're going to set it up in this manner. So we're going to write one and one third yard that we have to convert into feet. So one feet, one what I said, one feet. Yes, that is correct, my friends. One feet. Okay. So now we're going to rewrite the numbers four and one third yards times. So we're going to convert this one into yards. So how much is uh, one yard, like we said, equals three feet. So we're going to write one yard. Okay. So I'm taking it to the all the steps so you can you can see clearly how things number up here what happens so now we're going to rewrite again four and one third of a yard time of yards times so we said one yard equals three feet correct okay so now we have a problem set up and here is the new the new the nuance that we have to keep in mind we're going to convert this one into an improper fraction and i'm going to do it right here on this side four four and, and one third so how do you convert this into an improper fraction you grab the um you're going to multiply the three times the four and notice that we're going in this circle this way times the four plus the one okay and when we do this multiplication, that's 3 times 4 equals 12, plus 1 equals 13. Now, when we do this, we use the same denominator, which is 3. So you're going to say 13 what? 13 threes. So now we can substitute that, that 4 and 1 third into this improper fraction. And that makes it a lot easier to multiply times 3, which now it's a whole number, but we can give, we can write that one that it has as a denominator so now we we um oh look at this before we do anything else there is a three on the numerator and a three on the denominator so we can divide that by three and we can divide this by three and that's going to be let's rewrite this fraction again so the 13 stays the same three divided by three equals one times three divided by three equals one and one times one equals one. And then we have our answer here. So it's 13 times one equals 13. And one times one equals one. And we know that 13 divided by one equals 13. So now we know that the answer for this problem is 13 feet. Let's write the answer, 13 feet. So four, okay, I don't know what happened there, my friends, but let me try this again. Four and one third yards equals 13 feet. And I'm just going to write it that way because I don't have any room. Okay, my friends, watch this video again. It's an amazing jewel of mathematics. Review it, learn it, and always repeat that you are good at math. Signing out your coach.